Hello everybody and welcome back to the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury and in today's video we're going to share with you guys my five pro tips for using Microsoft Planner. So stick around for this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. Hello again and welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at Microsoft Planner, one of the many applications found in the Microsoft 365 suite. In order to locate Microsoft Planner, all you need to do is head on over to office.com and click on the green icon to get started. When you first click on the Microsoft Planner icon, you are going to be greeted by your Planner Hub. This shows you all the plans and planners that you have. Let's start with a brand new planner today. To do so, I'm going to click on New Plan and I'm going to give it a name. I have the options of making it public to everybody in my organization or private. So here we are in Microsoft Planner. Now, before we get to my five pro tips, I want to show you briefly how Planner can be used in your organization. You'll notice here that I have my title and I've got three options here, boards, charts, schedules. We'll get into that in a second. The way that Microsoft Planner works is it's all based around buckets. So I've got a to-do bucket where I can add different options and I can always change new buckets here. So this might be family, this might be work, and over here, this might be entertainment. Now, I want to add something here. I'm going to click back over to family, and I'm going to say plan my family trip. Now, you'll notice that as soon as I do that, I've got my little task here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this task, and I can open up an entire world of organizations. First thing I can do is type in notes. Where do I want to go? Now I can even add a checklist. As I'm going through my checklist, I can always check these off and you'll notice that it has a nice uh, to do here. I can show my checklist on my card or I can choose just to keep my card empty here. You'll also notice I can add a label and I can even make assignments. I can also do comments down here if I want it to keep track of everything. And that's basically how Planner works. Now today I want to deep dive into my five pro tips. And today we're going to start with number one. Now my first Microsoft Planner pro tip is to get your planner looking really, really awesome. You'll notice here we've got a white background, but what we want to do is we want to change that background to make it be really, really awesome looking and dynamic. In order to do that, I'm going to click on the three dot menu right here next to schedule, and I'm going to click on plan settings. Now you'll see on the right here, Microsoft Planner offers some dynamic templates for the background. I love how these things look, and I love how by doing so, it really takes your tasks over here on the left and really makes them stand out from the crowd. I'm going to choose this one right here. So that was pro tip number one. Pro tip number two is to set up notifications. Now, perhaps you're using Microsoft Planner with a group of people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the notifications. And I've got three different options. I can have it automatically send an email to the group whenever a task is assigned to be completed. Or I can have Planner create notifications whenever somebody assigns a task to me or I have a task assigned to me that is or isn't due. Now let's take a look and see what that is. I'm gonna open up my task here again and you'll notice that it says assign. If I drop that down, I now have my name under here. Now this allows Microsoft Planner to know that this is my task and I'm doing something about it. And again, just as the notifications mentioned, if I change anything about this task, I'm gonna get an email notification or a notification on my phone. Now, my third pro tip about Microsoft Planner is all about labels. Labels are these little things down here, and there's so many of them with different colors. I can say this is going to be labeled blue, pink, and red. And you're going to notice that it also shows up here on your card. But did you know that you can customize these? Let's say that I want to click on blue, and I'm going to change this to my name. I can also change this to family. And I can also change this to 
travel agent. So here is a task that I need to have access to. It's assigned to me, but I also, in order to complete this task, need my family and need my travel agent. Now, the fourth thing I love about Microsoft Planner are the attachments that you can use in your individual tasks. If you click into a planner task and you click under attachments, you can now add files and links from anywhere online. I can upload a file directly from my computer. I can grab a file directly from SharePoint, OneDrive, or Microsoft Teams, or I can add a link to our URL. Now by clicking on that, it gives me a nice hyperlink. And when I click on that link, it automatically opens up one of my favorite websites. Now the fifth pro feature of Microsoft Planner that I absolutely love is the start date and the end date. Here's my task. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this task is being started today on the 20th, and I'm gonna have this due on August the 27th. Now, not only do I have a start date and an end date, I can even change the priority from being important to urgent, but, and this is where the pro tip comes in, if I click up here under board, charts and schedule, I can look at this task in a 30 day calendar I can see that this task starts on the 20th and ends on the 27th. So as you can see, there's a lot of great things that you can do here, but I have one more pro tip for you that you can use in Microsoft Planner. It's one that I use constantly each and every time I create a podcast here on TeacherCast. Now my sixth and final pro tip for Microsoft Planner are the dynamic charts. Here you're gonna see my editorial calendar for TeacherCast. I've got all the different podcasts that I do. You'll notice that I have everything outlined. It's tagged so that way I know when I'm creating this particular podcast, I need to enact these different types of software. And you'll also notice that if I click into these, I have my checklist of things to do. I have some comments for myself. I have a start date and an end date. When I look at the schedule, you'll notice just how busy TeacherCast is with all the starts and ends. But what I really like about this new feature is the charts. I can see here how many different tasks are in each bucket. I can see what tasks are assigned to each members. I can see how many things are public, prioritized, and there's so much information that I have here. It is an absolute pro tip that I absolutely would say you guys need to be using with Microsoft Planner. So those are my not five, but six pro tips for Microsoft Planner. If you have any more, please do me a favor and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We would love to have you guys be a part of the TeacherCast Educational Network. And that wraps up this episode of EdTech in the Classroom. On behalf of everybody here on TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.